Coach is Rick Stewart of All Access Coaching. I'm really excited to bring you this free video and make sure you hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data as far as what coaches want. And also, if, you can, if I can get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll start doing weekly YouTube clinics for free. And if you hit the like and subscribe button, you'll get notified when we upload new content. We're uploading three or four videos every week. The Rocket, big play this year. It's become a big play for us. It averaged over double digits. Uh, what is the rocket? For us, it's like our tall sweep right. If people are crowding the boat, crowding the box, crowding the box, crowding the box, well, we're going to run rocket. You know, I think one game this year we ran it 15 times. I don't know. It just, if they're going to crowd, we're going we're gonna to get outside. Uh, the rules for the rocket. Fast reach right for the tight end. All right. The four tackle, he's going to Trojan pull one to the right, and he's going to wall the, the first linebacker inside. The two guards going to Trojan pull one to the right, and he's going to run the alley, and he's thinking inside to head up. Now, I'm going to be honest. When you see our guys on film, those guys that we have at guard, remember, I told you, aren't our best guys. So uh, they very seldom ever get to the alley. I tell them most of the time, just don't let somebody cross your face and try to pull up in the first alley you see, not trying to get to the alley down the sideline. The center – He's near shoeing to the right. He's working to get the backside linebacker. If he can't get the backside linebacker, he's leveling up. The, th the three guard, these guys are going to Trojan pull away from the play to the left. So you're getting split flow. You're going to see guys pulling in both directions. Um, we're going to Trojan pull to the left, and we're going to then try to cut off. The five tackle is going to Trojan pull to the left and try to come across the field for a TD block on the safety for the cutback. Those two guys don't ever get there, but you got to give them something to do. Otherwise, they'll go out there and eat lunch. So you've got to go give them a rule, and so this keeps them moving. The seven tight end is going to outside release and run a 10-yard corner. The wing back, he's going to reach the contained defender. The fullback's going to read the wing back's block and block the cornerback, or he'll insert inside the wingback and then look for the cornerback. The halfback is going to high motion, or he'll already be set to the right, as you'll see in a few of them, and he'll receive the pitch, and then we're going to read the wingback's block, and then we're going to shuffle pitch to the halfback. All right, here's a, the here's a deal. Uh, the wingback can't get his guy hooked. Now, the tight end shouldn't have released his guy, but there's enough traffic that when we pitch this, this pitch is a little late, but you can see the wingback's just going to use the wide guy's momentum and block him out, and then the tailback's just going to cut inside of it. See, we'd like him a little wider on the pitch. See, he's actually getting the pitch a little late. The quarterback, that's the backup quarterback. He doesn't have him after starting quarterback was out, but by this time, and we end up with no motion, so we're late getting out. Again, you can see that big right guard. He got hurt. He He's not one of those guys that can pull. We talked about how our pullers, our pullers aren't our guards. That's just a good athlete making a good play. Now, there's a better job of getting hooked up on people. When you were asking earlier about see everybody cramming the line of scrimmage, they don't have anybody at the next level. We end up kicking the, four, the, the corner number four runs out here wide. We use his momentum to wall them out, and you can see our tackles and our pullers pulling back inside because they see – they feel the width of it. All we got to do is find one seam. And then you've got guys pulling in the other direction, which makes the defense split. So be a good view of it here. And 
look, we, we work this play with a perimeter drill extremely hard because you, in reality, you've got two guys way out here. How is that going to work? Well, we're going to use the momentum against them and we're going to run inside of it. But then we teach to run inside and then cut back out to the grass. Hash numbers grass. There's another one. A good job right there of the wing back coming out. Use the momentum. Just kick him out. All right, now we're not in motion. We're already lining the back up in a flip position. Again, tight end wing, uh, fullback wing this way. We are already have him in the flip position. Fullback is going to try – he's going to try to hook him up. I'd like for him to have a little more width before he starts into him. Now, what we did here is this was a game plan thing to go ahead and put the wing on the guy right now that we could get the automatic hook instead of having the wing out here on the, and letting all these guys stretch us. This way, the wing set the edge, and now the fullback's got the, the outside guy. Here's a good job, the wing getting out on the force. Fullback getting on the corner. Reaction, yep, the fullback gets on the corner. There's the force. The fullback's on the corner, and the running back cuts off of them. And you can, oh, excuse me. you can see what the split flow does to the defense. I mean, look where the backside linebacker in the backside corner, and all of them did at first. The backside safety, look at him. He, he, they're all checking, looking out. Here's another one with the back already flipped. Again, going ahead and letting the wing back set the edge right now and leaving the corner out there for the fullback. Fullback blocks him out. The tackle does a good job of sealing the inside linebacker and gives us a nice run lane to run right there and back outside. Here, we'll see it from the end zone. Ah, I thought we would. I guess we won't. But you can see the tight – you can see the wing back set this edge. And the reason we started doing this is we felt like this guy could not get him hooked. So everything was getting stretched out here. So we felt like that if we took and let him hook him right now, then it was going to isolate him, and now we could get the tackle around and the fullback on that guy. And uh, so we made that adjustment probably after about running it once or twice. It's still daylight, so obviously it was early. But you can see how much of an opening. I mean, there's really a big opening right, right there. If the running back would just stick a foot in, he could go right there and he'd be fine. There's another good adjustment right there by the running back. Wing back, we're setting the edge with him early now, leaving the cornerback for the fullback. Tackle a ceiling on the linebacker, gives us a run right there. And like I told you, our, our guards just can't get out there, bless their heart. They're, they just that's our that's our non-fleet footed guys. But I, I to be honest with you, at the beginning of this play, at the beginning of this play, I tell this guy right here that we want four yards. 
So as great as some of these have ended up and all the runs that those guys make, I tell them all the time, we're, we're just looking for four yards of play. You know, what you do after four yards, give me four yards, and what you do after that, come on. And those guys do a great job. And, again, our, our running back coach does a great job. You'll see a good, good job. See, we're able to seal the linebacker. And they missed the tackle, and that guy does a good job. When, when, you're, when your power and Trojan and counter and trap as much as we are, this is why this became the number one play this year. Look at those guys. This isn't a playoff game in the second round. They've got nine guys in the box. I mean, they just they just give us the edge. That was an easy hook. Yeah, I mean, you can look at all the people that are inside. And by by having the tight lane and the wing back sets the edge right there. And now everything, I mean, we got four guys out there. Coaches, I really hope you got some great information from that YouTube video. Again, hit the subscribe and like button down below. It gives us valuable data. And if I get to 1,000 subscribers, I'll do free YouTube clinics. And you also get notified when I'm doing those YouTube clinics and when I upload new content to this channel. Thanks for watching, coaches.